In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for potassium carbonate plus zinc nitrate. So first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. So I can see I have two nitrates here and only one here. So I'm going to put a two as my coefficient. That also balances the potassiums. Everything else, it's balanced. So we've got our molecular equation. Next, we need to write the states for each substance in our net ionic equation. So potassium compounds, they're very soluble. Put an AQ. Nitrate compounds, also soluble. We have this zinc nitrate. And then potassium nitrate, that'll be soluble. Let's take a closer look at our zinc carbonate. Often when we have carbonates, they're not soluble. I'm going to look at a solubility table here. We find zinc down here. And here's our carbonate right there. So we'll go down and over. And that I, that means it's insoluble. So zinc carbonate, it's going to be a precipitate in this reaction. It's not soluble. So we write S for solid. So those are the states. Next, we need to split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation, also called the total ionic equation. So potassium on the periodic table, group one, one plus ionic charge, the whole carbonate, that's always two minus. So we'll have two potassium ions, two K plus. I'll write aqueous at the end. Let's not do that now. Plus a carbonate ion, CO3, two minus. Nitrate, that is always a one minus since we have two of them. Zinc is two plus. And even though zinc's a transition metal, it actually is always two plus. So we'll just have our zinc here, two plus ion plus two nitrate ions. So those are the reactants. In the products, we'll have two potassium ions plus two of the nitrate ions. And then for the zinc carbonate, because that's a solid, we're not going to split that apart. That'll just be zinc carbonate, CnCO3. This is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out these spectator ions. They're on both sides of our complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not really interested in them. If we look, we can see here's 2K plus in the reactants and in the products. Let's get rid of that. Here we have two nitrate ions, products, two nitrate ions. Get rid of that. And what's left, this is the net ionic equation for K2CO3 plus ZnNO3 2. I'll clean it up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our balanced net ionic equation for potassium carbonate plus zinc nitrate. You'll notice that charge is conserved. We have two minus and two plus. Those balance out. We have a neutral compound. And if you count the atoms up on each side, you'll see they're the same as well. One last thing, sometimes you'll see the positive ion put first like this. Doesn't really matter. It's the same thing, but looks a little nicer to me. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.